Roots, you're listening to Mark and Sam on 102.8 Chorley FM. And joining us in the studio at the moment is Howard Brown from Holland Head Street Scouts. He's their assistant group scout leader and also a beaver leader. So very good morning. Good morning. And Thanks work. for having me. No problem at all. Pleasure. This is what Chorley FM's here all about to make sure we listen to the voices of the community. So first of all, just tell us a little bit about yourself and how you got involved so i i, I got involved um probably 18 months ago as a uh, an assistant leader at hollins head um it all started really uh, this time around i say this time around because I, I was involved in scouting uh, in cubs and scouts and, and as it was then venture scouts many years ago back in the late 80s early early 90s but uh, recently i say recently 18 months ago um my uh, little lad rory uh, he 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 joined Hollins Head as a beaver scout and um, they needed a, another leader so uh, they asked me and, and I got involved really so and it's all started from there. Well that's how many parents kind of get yeah. involved. Very much yeah. so yeah. It's, a lot, it's how a lot of uh, guide leaders end up doing it. They just kind of get by in you know because it, it's completely voluntary, completely voluntary at a, at a local level so yeah it's, it's kind of those you know you, you're supporting the kids and the stuff they want to do and it, it, it just gives them that kind of interaction yeah. with other kids as well. They always say um, it's, it's an hour a week. Uh, it's a bit more than that if I'm being honest but yeah. I mean you can put in as much or as little as you want to be quite mm. honest with, with scouting as I said I started 18 months ago um, as an assistant beaver leader uh, went through my training which is really world class to be quite honest yeah. it's been recognised throughout the globe as uh, sort of world class training package it's you know with leadership and, and sort of safeguarding with the young children and that sort of thing but uh, yeah 18 months ago I started and I've not looked back to be quite honest I'm also a photographer um, as well uh, and, and within within Chorley and uh, as soon as they found out about that I uh, I sort of joined the uh, the med- the West Lancashire Scouts media team as, oh, as, yeah. as uh, one of the assistant photographers as well so I get chance to, to go all over the uh, <coughs> the region um, you know taking pictures covering events really oh that's cool so yeah, it's really it's, good yeah it's quite varied as well and we're kind of in a fortunate position we've got quite a lot of good scout campsites out there as well in the locality so you have to travel too far mm, yeah and um, to obviously get in the the great outdoors yeah it's on your doorstep a lot isn't yeah. it around here we're so, very lucky yeah i mean you've got um you've got wadika which is is, is west lancashire's one of west lancashire's main uh, campsites uh, and you've also got um, quite quite a new one, quite a young one, really. Bibby's Farm. Yes. Uh, so my, my daughter involves... went there with the guides. Okay. Sorry, so your you daughter went there with the guides. Yeah, 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 she loved it. Yeah. Yeah, it's up and coming, to be quite honest. And I know the manager of uh, Pete Sturgis, the manager of, of that campsite, quite well. Um, but yeah, it's. I mean, it's owned by Bolton Scouts, so it's not owned by West Lancashire. Uh, but you know we are one of the main users of that campsite yeah. to be quite honest and you know it's it's up and coming whenever i go up there and it's probably once every every month or so there's always construction work going on mm. always construction work and uh, but again it relies on volunteers as scouting does yeah. so you can you can literally do anything you want to in scouts you don't have to be a, a uniformed leader uh, what would you, you do if you wanted to get into it then and you didn't have children uh, you don't if have you, to have you know children, I mean the, yeah. the, that's what I'm saying yeah, yeah. Um, how would you go about contacting would you just find your local group maybe and pop down and uh, it's, it's go through the checks yeah it's however you want to really to be quite honest I mean if you go on the Chorley if you google Chorley Scouts yeah or even West Lancashire Scouts if you're not in the Chorley area um, and there's a whole um, area on those websites for volunteering yeah click into there there's email addresses there's phone numbers and it starts from there really but I think the best way is pop down to your local group and just get a feel for it really yeah because if you're looking to go into teaching or anything any any job with children it'd be great work experience for you wouldn't it and very rewarding as well a lot you know if you're yeah. a young person who's got a lot of free time college university that sort of thing a lot of our young leaders do that um, they obviously want to go into that sort of work, you know, teaching, teaching assistant, that sort of thing. And as you said, Sam, it's great uh, experience. Yeah, it's um, very rewarding, I should imagine, because I've worked with young children in the past and it's just a, a great sense of, uh, you know, you're doing something mm-hmm. good and, uh, and they can learn from you, you can learn from them, can't you? And it's great for them to get outdoors and off the computers and the tablets. Re- rewards. I mean, I, n- I never thought I'd be uniformed, if I'm being honest. Mm. But um, our, our beaver leader, Alison Oliver, um, she sort of uh, dragged me in kicking and screaming. I've never looked back, if I'm being honest. Great. I really haven't. Uh, the rewards are just phenomenal. 
you know, from from I mean, I would obviously work with I say work with I'd be assistant beaver leader, ages from sort of six to to sort of eight before they go into cubs. We take them a little bit um, younger than that, and and they also leave a bit later as well, depending on the individuals. But the rewards are just phenomenal. You know, some mm-hmm. of the some of the actual uh, things we get up to. Last year we went caving. Uh, yeah. And we took twenty beavers caving. Yeah. Uh, alongside, along with the uh, the <coughs> cave leaders from West Lancashire, because for every activity we always have leaders that specialise yeah. in this, you know. And some of the comments that we got back from the children, I've never oh, done yeah. this before. It's amazing. Can we do it again? You know. Well, that's one way to get used to um, the dark, I guess. <laughs> oh, <laughs> yeah. I'd just be frightened of getting stuck. But yeah. yeah, I mean, children might never do that if they didn't do it with the beavers or the scouts. Uh, they might never go inside a cave. They might. I mean, I've known. Um, when I was growing up, those children used to come and stay with us because we were sort of countryside in China, Richard. They'd come from Leeds and that. They'd never seen cows. Mm. So, it, it, you know, it can be such a, a good thing for them, personal growth-wise and, and sort of experience in the world around them. And um, for some children, I can imagine it's a good thing, it just being a constant in their life every Tuesday or whatever night it is they know that's where they're going that's where they're going to be and they know they're going to get them familiar faces who, who can support them uh, if they're going through friends something. for life as yeah, well that's you know it. And it is structure like big brother, at the end it? of the day it is structure i mean my structure. my little my little lad um he, you know he's he, he does all sorts he does taekwondo um but the the thing he comes back to time and time again is are we going are we going to beaver's dad yeah. when are we going Straight home from school, he want he gets his uniform on, he's ready to go, you know. And it's it's because of the I think it's because of the varied nature of what we do, you know, yeah. the activities and and yeah, it's the program as well. Yeah. And, you know, especially when, I mean, they're in a, when, when they're in the school environment, everything's aimed towards academia. And it's how we're scouting. It's just about enjoying Fun. yourself, meeting other people, experiencing stuff that you wouldn't normally experience, and kids just being kids. Yeah, I mean the the sort of things that that we get up to. I mean, we we it's it's a, we do um, science badges. I mean, it is badged sort of yeah, based, you know, yeah. you know. So we've got five, six core badges within within Beaver Scouts, and we also have activity badges as well. And, and some of the things that we've got up to, obviously, we've done we've done sports as regards caving and that sort of thing, cycling. Um, we've done uh, sort of like science experiment nights as well. Oh, we're so teaching them a bit of needlework as well. Um, <laughs> yeah, we've not, we've not, <laughs> Boys uh, can saw. we've not actually done that yet, to be quite honest. That's so a good a little bit, but um, when I've spoken to Alice Ditchfield, our group scout leader, and uh, some of the scout leaders as well, they, you know, they do cover that off really. Do their own Mother's Day, then they can do a nice <laughs> Mother's Day card. Yeah, a bit of crochet. Yeah, yeah. Oh. and you'd be surprised, and it's concentration, and it's um, using motor skills, isn't it? So you know that you're teaching them, we you're do, teaching we them things without them knowing it. Yeah, we do cover Mother's Day cards and Father's Day cards. Oh, I'm sure you do. Uh, yeah, we've never done the needlework, so well, yeah, yeah. yeah, you've got to mix it's it up, you see. It's you, essential just to sew your badges on. Are you, are you any good, Sally? So you're volunteering to come in. Oh, like I think you should, to be quite honest. I can see I that little glint in your eye. I might do. There, 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 there we go. <laughs> so you, can, you can even do a live broadcast from Holland's Head on a Friday <laughs> night, can't you? Thanks very much. We're doing a first time, yeah. Well, welcome back to Chilly FM. Still joining us in the studio is Howard Brown from Holland Head Street Scout. I've got my co-host Sam Bradbury. Hi. He's looking a little bit serious at the moment. Um, and there's me, Mark Darnell. And so, yes, I used to love being a member of the Scouts. What's the Scout called? The, so be prepared. Be that's, prepared. That's so, so, and there are codes, but you never um, said dib 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 dub dub dub, do you? So you're showing your so age just a there now, really, to be quiet. So that's a terrible thing to say. Only I'm, forty-one. I'm, I'm, what you're yeah, saying? Yeah, same age as me, but I don't remember uh, dib 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 dub dub dub. Mm. Bob a job. Bob See job. again, that's, Bob that's, that's one of those legacy sayings. We don't we don't uh, we don't do these things anymore, really, to be quiet. Can't do yeah. Bob a job these days. Scouts, can you? Scouts has moved on. I mean, dib 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 dub dub dub. It was do your best, do your best, and. Oh! Our best do our best, but uh, yeah, that that sadly has left us really, to be quite honest. That motto, oh. but yeah, it's uh, like it's the pocket tap that's gone, hasn't it? Well, yeah, it's definitely gone undergone a bit of an image change. I think that kind of helps because obviously, got Bear Grylls is now as well. He's oh, got his own yeah. kind of following. You've got adventure scouts now, haven't you? You never used to have that when we were growing up. Explorer scouts, no, Explorer I mean, scouts. Yeah. I was in, I was in ventures. 
um, which is you know where you go after after scouts. Yeah. But um, that got rebranded and renamed to Explorer Scouts. Now. Right. So uh, yeah, I mean they they start from ages fourteen to eighteen. The Explorer Scouts, and to be quite honest, they're they're sort of district centred rather than group by group. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, and we do have the uh, the Ronin Explorers that meet at Hollins Head on a on, again on a Friday night. We do everything on a Friday night. So. So what have you got up and coming? What what can you tell us about? What events are you going to be getting up to? So um, for for Holland's Head, mm. I think the biggest thing that's uh, on our list really is is the big move uh, yeah. with with church. Uh, I think probably most of your listeners are aware, but uh, we're actually moving locations. Right. We actually meet at Holland's Head United Reformed Church on a Friday night, and uh, you know we're, we're part of that community, we're part of the church, and we're we're moving together with the church. So we're really excited about that. We've seen the plans. Uh, and it includes things like there's a football pitch massive uh, alongside the church there's also a cafe as well Ooh. and also plans for a climbing wall so um, oh that'd be good yeah certainly um, I think I think the, the church hall uh, is is becoming a little tired it's safe to say uh, the current church hall so we're really looking forward to to working with the church and moving together yeah yeah so, so when's all this happening? Uh, we've no confirmed dates, but it's going to be uh, sometime next year, really, yeah, uh, yeah. unless, of course, it, it gets pushed back. So right. we're already seeing changes in the car park at Holland's Head URC as well. Yeah. So the council are uh, starting to, to utilise the car park exciting as Exciting well. stuff. It is very exciting. It's exciting for Chorley as well. Mm. Yeah. Because, I mean, as, you know, facilities grow within the community in Chorley, um, we're adapting and moving as well. So, yeah. yeah, it's definitely a good time if you're a young person to be in Chorley because you've got, you've got the youth zone, which is now really on its way the major bits it's of nice steel seeing that crop. come together yeah. every time you drive past there's a bit more been done I'm um, looking forward to getting the pictures and things like that the cinema no there's a lot of things going on but especially as a young person you've got state of the art facilities in the town centre it's going to be the place to be yeah um, it's about time and like say if you're going to have a climbing wall and all that sort of stuff you know it's going to they're going to complement each other absolutely amazingly oh it's, it's going to be amazing yeah we're really looking forward to it and of course you've got the great outdoors you've got Rivington you've got Bibby's Farm you've got Wadika you've got all sorts of bits and pieces so you know it's going to be it's going to be amazing I'm so jealous quite often we have hikes up to uh, Bibby's Farm from Holland's Head as well Really? The Cubs and the Scouts, they tend to hike up there on a Friday night sometimes, in summer. Mm. You know, so it's great. Yeah, it's Very fun. fortunate to live in this area, really. It is, it is. It, you know, we are, We've got. I think we take a lot of things for granted. Um, but there's so much green open space, and especially as a young person, you can definitely get your crafts in. In regards to the outdoors as well, you, you just take it, you know, you just you just live for it but there's nothing like camping in the middle of a random field and knowing that you've created <laughs> yeah, your own community not, th not all kids are into the great outdoors are they a lot do like the more indoor based activities but the scouts do plenty yeah, of that as well luckily oh it's just it's moved the culture's totally yeah. changed you know I mean you, if you went back sort of 30 years um, you know when I first started off in the movement uh, it, it, it was all about knots it was all about yeah. making fires you know backwards cooking survival and all that sort of and it's it, we do have those elements as well not for the beaver scouts which I'm involved in but certainly for the cubs and the scouts we have that yeah we don't um, want to be teaching beavers how to set fires do no, we no 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 <laughs> They have an appreciation of it, but we don't allow them uh, to, to, to take the swan vesters and just start their own fires, no. No, the most important thing is how to physically be able to, to do roast your marshmallows. I always remember that's a fantastic skill, making sure oh, you my just... daughter loves doing marshmallows when we go camping. See, that that's a skill. <clears throat> that's a skill I'll always be grateful to scouts for. Is knowing, roasting knowing marshmallows. Yeah, it's knowing when to remove it and just yeah, nice we did have a, yeah, 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 yeah we did have a bit of an accident last time we went camping one of the little boys dropped it on his toe <sighs> bit of a nasty accident that drop what yeah. sorry hot marshmallow on oh, his right. toe okay, yeah. he'll never wear flip flops no, no, again while he's no. toasting uh, well we try we try and get him to wear boots around the oh yeah, fire, you know? yeah so I mean Different everything, everything is risk assessed everything is risk assessed oh I can imagine you know so it's it's great I mean one of the one of the amazing things that I I've I've witnessed in in scouting and it completely contrasts from from when I was involved to to where we are now and I think it's exclusive really to Chorley District um, it's we we have um, we're very fortunate to have a, an assistant district commissioner called Carl Woods who who runs uh, the inclusivity and, and um, disability awareness and um, it, it's amazing really it's I mean we always get asked 
what is inclusive scouting yeah uh, within within the district and it, it's quite simple really i mean when you look at society it's clouded in labels and, and certainly we in Chorley district we put one of those above mm. everything and that really is just the label scout yeah it's a family thing it's a unity thing it's being part of something something bigger uh, than yourself really to be quite honest so i mean it's not to say that we don't acknowledge other labels we do within scouting yeah but we really really try hard uh, and work with parents and schools and young people themselves and we try and ascertain what what we can do to make scouting right for them yeah i mean scouts you know to be to be inclusive in chorley we do this by raising awareness and disabilities throughout the district yeah uh, we're in a wild wide world and and to be quite honest we believe it's it's you know it's 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 in a first world country we need to be aware yeah you, know, you need of, to be accessible of, yeah, to everybody totally yeah yeah and I'm that's what agree. we're trying to say really i think we had discussions um off air before i came in about um you know it's, it's amazing to see that that we, we allow girls in scouting now you know that's been that's been going on for for many many years as well so it's, it's really heartening to see to be quite honest yeah yeah I mean, there's a lot of girls who uh, who wouldn't jo necessarily join the guides, but they might join the scouts. So, uh, because they are different organisations, um, I think it's very appealing to to people. And uh, I'm glad that you've come in and talked to us this morning about getting getting it out there and reminding people that you know you you've been going for. Is it how long have you been going now? The scout movement. I can't remember. Oh, s the scout movement itself. Uh, I mean, it was founded by uh, Baden Powell, Robert Baden Powell, in 1907. That's so, a long you time. Know, yeah. It's a, but uh, I mean, Holland's Head Streets. Sorry, a uh, bit of a bit of a faux pas there. Holland's Head. We've changed our name to Holland's Head yeah. URC. Um, that's coming up to its centenary in uh, wow. yeah, 2019 wow. so that's it's the oldest group in Chorley District we're going to be celebrating we big are we're style, going to be celebrating big style we and don't know, quite new, know what to do you'll but, be in the uh, new joint yeah we will be in the new joint well that's that's absolutely a fantastic achievement absolutely yeah. amazing and I do hope it's Chorley FM we can kind of get involved in those celebrations for you because that's quite a massive achievement oh we'd like to yeah we'd like to and you think of all the different groups that have been you know set up during that centenary as well it's absolutely amazing because I know uh, where I live in Buckshaw Village you know there's a fantastic group that's just started there there's one in Assey Village they're springing up all over the place because it, it's just the life skills that kids get it's absolutely amazing yeah and like he's just said, there's no reason that if your child's got some sort of disability, whether it's it's one you can see or one that you can't see, uh, that uh, they don't feel like they can get involved. You know, give give them a call or nip down to one of the centres and, and have a word with you about we it. We have the support there in place. Yeah. You know, I mean, Kyle is fantastic with the uh, the sort of unit that he support unit that he runs. Really. Yeah. You know, I mean, at the end of the day, it's just scouting. That's yeah. what we do. Yeah. And uh, you know, disability awareness and. and inclusive it's just part of it you know everyone is included we don't ever exclude anyone so fantastic yes it is with again with, with sammy bean we've still got um howard brown here in from hollinghead scout i apologize i can't put the street at the end so how can people get involved if you're a, a young person or an adult or somebody's you know retired or just looking for something else to, to kind of do that you can give back to the community how can people get involved so i mean quite simply i, I think we covered it before but um with with if you go on the chorley scouts website and and the west lancashire scouts website if you if you're not in the Chorley district area um, there's plenty of information on how you can get involved but i think one of the easiest things is you know if you know there's a local scout group um in your area uh, just pop in say hello you know i mean certainly for for hollins head urc scout group we are uh, in need in dire need of scout a scout leader and also an assistant beaver leader as well so Ooh. it's quite simply just walk in have a chat with us have a cup of tea and uh, yeah it's uh, get involved if you want to yes. you don't have to be a leader though you don't have to be uniformed you know we need adult helpers as well uh, we have a really uh, really strong um, community at Hollins Head where we've got quite a few adult helpers who don't have the time uh, to actually put the uniform on and, and spend that little bit more than, than your one or two hours a week like myself so mm. can I just ask please don't think I'm volunteering in any way sure Apart from from the needlework, yeah, that's 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 a given that now. Is there women leaders? Oh yeah. I yeah. thought you mentioned a lady's yeah, name yeah. before, so yeah, I, I I wouldn't have known. I wouldn't have known that. That's a genuine question. Yeah. Yeah. yeah I mean, used to typically be all men. 
I think even even when I was in Scouts, there was uh, there was female leaders really? and female adult helpers. Uh, you know, going back sort of twenty thirty years ago. So, but yeah, I mean, it's uh, it's quite fifty fifty now these days. You've got uh, you know fifty percent ladies and fifty percent female and fifty percent males as well. So it's it's open to everyone. You don't like I said, you don't have to be a, a uniform leader. You know, if 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 you've got DIY skills and and we need a roof fixing, great, get involved. It's fantastic. So. Oh. Mm. Mm. Or you can come and teach them how to do needlework and so on. Or like bacon, this. or a bit of bacon. Yeah, well, that's a bit of bacon, especially for bake sales. Fundraising is the well, key as well. Well, not for my cakes. Yeah. I mean, you, you look at you look at the activities that we actually run um, throughout the year. The syllabus, you know, um, we we had. I know of one group that uh, one of the parents was an airline pilot. And um, we have an air activity staged badge uh, that runs throughout Beavers, Cubs uh, and Scouts. And, um, yeah, as soon as the, the, the group found out that uh, he was an airline pilot, he came in and ran the badge for them, you know. Aww. And uh, it's things like that. Like I said... Uh, Where did you get your badge for, for airline pilotry? I don't think you don't. Fly, <laughs> but it's it's, I mean, it's the, te- the principles of uh, flight and things like that. I've not got a syllabus. You can just imagine right. these kids sat on chairs <laughs> with with toilet roll, uh, you know, off the mum's kitchen roll, going up, up, up. Do you know what we did though? It, it, what we did at Beaver Scouts to to get our uh, air activities badge, we didn't we didn't uh, have an airline pilot in the uh, with with the parents back then, but. Uh, we set we set the hall up like a like a plane. Oh, wicked! Yeah, and uh, and she wanted me to mention her anyway. But Sharon, one of our assistant beaver leaders, she was uh, she was the captain. Yeah. Um, and um, at, at the time, uh, we had another assistant leader, John, who's moved on to scouts. Uh, John and myself uh, were the uh, were the air stewardesses. Excellent. Uh, we, were, we were yeah. So John didn't like that, but I did volunteer myself to be the air stewardess. But no peanuts yeah. in case of nut allergies, obs. No, that's right. Yeah. Mm. But yeah, it's things like that. So it just increases awareness oh really. that's cool yeah. that's cool it is, it is it is i love role play but yeah we are in dire need of uh, volunteers well, that's it there's a lot more that kind of goes on behind the scenes because we were mentioning there's a lot of fundraising done to can buy all the equipment stuff like that yeah you don't have there's to necessarily be you know no one, many, of, the, many one hands of the people on the shop floor so to speak can be behind the scenes well, that's yeah. it. i mean there's umpteen fundraisers going on at any one time uh, not just in in my group but but districts and, and county as well i mean for in, certainly in, in my group in Beavers, we've, we've raised uh, over £2,500 for, for guide dogs uh, oh. this past two years through, you know, um, sort of auctions um, and uh, tea dances and that sort of thing, oh, really. Tea dances? Yeah. I've not been to a tea dance Well, it wasn't years. a dance. There was no dancing done. It was just a oh, bit of tea and cake, yeah. Oh, yeah. that's better yeah. like to tomorrow. stand on me. Like tomorrow. They'd have to stand on my feet, here. wouldn't they? Yes, we get to, we get to name a dog now, so it's oh, amazing. Oh, so do you remember, it wasn't so long ago, we were naming Astley, were we, the, the um, new guide yeah. dog? That, yeah, it was a little bit of a while ago. I've for ages. Her, um, when Marion Lowe was, was mm. there. Yeah. Mm. Oh, it's brilliant. Well, listen, is there anything you would like to, to just mention or say hello to anybody before we get off air? We can obviously, we can send you this as uh, as, a, as a little... What do you call it? Voice recording. Send it on that Dropbox, don't we? We, we do. We yeah. do. That, we can sort that. So would you like to give anyone a shout out? So, I mean, just as a, a parting thing, really, to be quite honest, and I know we've gone on about it, but, uh, yeah, if, if you're interested in, in, in volunteering for Scouts, please get in touch via uh, Chorley District's uh, Scout web page, chorleyscouting.org.uk, and, um, and, or your local Scout group as well. So that, that's the key, really, with crying out for, for, for leaders and adult helpers. The okay. movement is growing, which is a good thing. Yeah, you yeah. Know, it, one of our 2018 ambitions for, for the UK Scouting contingent or movement is, uh, is to grow it by over 500,000 so you know we're nearly there mm. so but as a shout out I'd like to say hello to my wife who's having her roots done at the minute at the head oh she's going to kill you for that I think it'll be a takeaway tonight I've so. a Lily Savage done <laughs> <laughs> but uh, yeah but, and uh, of course all the leaders at, uh, at my scout group and uh, my beautiful children uh, Rory and Honor as well so thanks oh. for having me in today mm. I really appreciate it it's been it. a pleasure hasn't it Mark it's been amazing and thank you to all those who do volunteer within any kind of organisation um, to give our young people and our older people, you know, the the assistance and help that they, they need because, you know, it's all of young people. To sound a bit like Whitney Houston, children are our future and the more skills you can give them, the better. And let them lead the way. I think
think next time you're doing an outside thing, we should come and do a bit of an outside broadcast with the Scouts? Yeah, I think we should. Yeah. Yeah. They, well, they have, they have been to in its very studio. Have yeah. they? They have, yes. Wow. Yeah, they've been they've get them in Scouts, again at yeah. half term. Get them in. They've been in with Babs and it was absolutely amazing because that's what makes us so special is we yeah. can do things like this. It's yeah. amazing. St George's Day would be a good one for an outside broadcast. Oh, yeah. You've got, you know, hundreds and hundreds of Scouts and guides. Yeah. So, yeah. Well, we'll see if we can as get long as the rain is nice, let's hope so. Because it's when is I, rain ever nice? Well, you can have you can have, <laughs> you can have a bit of pitter patter of rain, yeah, and then it just pours down. But yeah, uh, I'll last, stand over you with a brolly. Last the I went to, it poured down, and there's all these little beavers, and soaked the skin. But do you know what? They still have the, the little chest pumped out. In the pride of the uniform. Oh, they're more resilient than some of the other beavers. The tough, the tough it. kids. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Well, thanks very much for coming in, and we hope you come and join us again very soon. Thank you very much. Dib, 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 dob, dob, dob. (laughs) Over and out.